Hey y'all and good morning. Welcome to our gray house vlogs. I say good morning because it's morning for me. It's like 10 after nine. And although I did, oh my gosh, I did not feed the cats. It's a wonder they're not dead. Um, they usually like will have like bothered me more by now. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Aren't you hungry? He's just sitting lifeless under the, under the chair. Captain, are you hungry? Did you want some food? You want some food? You want some food? You can barely make it, can you? So I promise I would have realized that I had not fed the cats because I would have come in here and I would have looked in the sink. My cats would not have been hungry. They have dry food, so they're not going to starve or anything like that, but. <laughs> I would have already fed them by now. Normally I feed them like first thing in the morning, so. Sorry guys. Tonight we have book club at our house again. And we're still, we're not actually doing like a regular book club, but we're talking about the Enneagram or Enneagram, Enneagram. And um, so yeah, that's all we're, we're talking about that. And so it's not like we're reading like three chapters, one through three. <laughs> or read up to whatever. Uh, we're not doing it that way. We're just doing a, um, kind of like a personal development kind of study type thing. And yeah, I need to finish. Oh, somebody's hungry. This is going well this morning for sure. Normally I would have fed the cats by now. I usually, I get up and I go clean the cat box. I feed the cats and just kind of hang out here until Marvin leaves, try to take a shower at 7.30, and that didn't happen this morning because I had to respond to some things about the contract that we just did last night, and that kind of threw me off, but it's okay because I'm still, I mean, I'm pretty much on my target time. I did not dry my hair. I don't have any appointments until four o'clock when I have a promotion meeting with the downtown advisory board committee people the promotion committee people. So I have a meeting at four today. I was supposed to go show a house this afternoon or two rentals this afternoon, but I have book club. So I have to be back at my house by like six and I wouldn't, I'm gonna be showing or would have been showing over in Garland on the other side of Garland at like five. And so I would have been able, Here, here's the house real quick, here's the house real quick. And then that, <laughs> that, that'd be it. And so um, I don't like to rush my clients if I, if I can help it. So I'm gonna have another agent show for me so that way they're not feeling rushed or anything like that. And uh, then book club's at 6.30, I think it starts. 6 or 6.30, I think 6.30. So I wanna be back in, in enough time, with enough time to like, vacuum and like clean my bathrooms up and stuff like that. Um, nothing too fancy, but I do, uh, cause my house is not like messy. It just need to put some stuff away. Cause normally when you're living at your house, like you just, you might leave the pen out or paper out or something like that. So just need to get that stuff tucked away. And, oh, I just scared my cats. <laughs> I was closing the dishwasher and they're all like freaked out cause they're just ready for food. So let me go feed them real quick and then I'll jump back on. So my hair is wet and I have been trying to still air dry it as much as I can. It'll be harder like in the winter when it's like cold outside and then you don't want to like have wet hair. Maybe, maybe you do. I don't. I, I think I would be cold. So I don't know what I'll change about how I'm trying to air dry my hair. Who knows? That's so far away. Who cares? All right. This is what I'm wearing today. That blousey black top, black blouse. And I'm wearing my favorite cutoff jeans and my little sandals from Target. Also, I think I'm gonna cut my CJLA jeans. I, li I like these cutoff jeans so much and I wear them a lot. And so I figure I'm just gonna like do um, a cut myself. Like why is it sticking out? Awesome. Why is it sticking out like that? <sighs> Anyway, clearly, take your fashion advice from me. Take your hair advice from me. No. All right, I need to go because I have got to go and write up an email of the critical dates for this contract and this transaction because my client needs it. 
that a lot of times, well, I mean, most clients want to know like, this is due then, this is due then, this is, I need this today, I need that tomorrow and whatever. So um, I'm gonna go get that all taken care of and get the option money and earnest money turned in on time. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, oh, she gonna wear a hat, okay. Okay, sat on it. she's gonna wear a hat. Oh, it's fogging up. It's a little bit humid outside and Miss Thing back there is gonna try to be all trendy and wear a hat. So I guess I should've wore a hat today. That would've been cute. Going to Taco Casa. So of course, <laughs> I come to 1515 and the meeting's at Corner Theater. So I'll be about five minutes late, but better late than ever. And they're expecting storms to come in. So I don't know if book clubs gonna be very well attended or not, but we'll see. It's as if I'm in some weird movie, like where the background is all dark and I'm in the spotlight. But the fact of the matter is, it's 11.30 and I need to go to bed. I had book club tonight and we had a really good time. We're doing the Enneagram, E-N-N-E-A-G-R-A-M, and you can look it up online and find a free test and find out your number. So I've taken probably half a dozen tests and they've all come back as a number seven, except for one came back that I'm a number three. So today I read the book, The Road Back to You, which is about the Enneagram. And I was like reading the number seven. I'm like, yeah, that's me. And, um, but my friends at book club tonight were like, I mean, you could be a seven, but kind of think you're a three. And I'm like, no, I'm not a three, I'm a seven. And they're like, okay, well you could be, but you could also be a three. So I started reading the three tonight and I'm like, Could be a three. So I'm going to read a little bit more about the three and look a little bit more on the EnneagramInstitute.com and to see if I can find out some more information. And the whole reason that I'm doing this is just for personal development and growth and to learn more about myself. And so I would encourage you guys to do it as well. I'm going to have Marvin take the test just to see what he is as he is also. And yeah. I just think it's interesting. So that's what we've been doing with book club last week and this week. And then next week we're going to, she gave us homework, but I've already forgotten what I was supposed to do. I think we're supposed to come up with like a scenario that's happened to us about our number. I don't know. I still have to read more about the three anyway. So, um, what else? You know, like it, having the ladies over just gives me a chance to get to know them better, but also to kind of open myself up to my friends that are women in general. Marvin and I just pretty much keep to ourselves and we don't usually have like parties or anything like that. Um, so having the ladies come over, is kind of fun. It's different and a little bit disruptive, but not necessarily like in a negative way, but disruptive to our normal schedule. Our normal schedule is just us staying home and being together. Also, today I received the Every Plate box. So, some marvelous meals with Marvin and Lisa are becoming your way soon to a YouTube channel near you, my YouTube channel, Agri House. So, um, this week we're going to be making, or in the coming weeks or whatever, we're going to be making, let me get it for you cherry glazed pork meatballs which I don't remember choosing that but okay and then this one is teriyaki glazed chicken which I think that will be yummy and this is cranberry glazed pork chops I'm kind of a fan of glaze I'll be honest I had changed out our meals because I forget what the other one was but one of them was like uh yeah no I'm not gonna want that but those are good also, I got the check for the earnest money for Kennedy and Bradley. Uh, those are my clients. Also, my granddaughter and her boyfriend. So, um, I got the earnest money for them, and I'll take that to Terrell tomorrow and turn that in. And we have inspection on Friday. Uh, a friend of mine showed the rent house for my other clients tonight. And we might be looking at houses on Saturday as well for my daughter, Carrie. 
So lots of things happening. Oh, and Anna, my daughter in Washington, my oldest daughter, she um, is building a new house. So that's fun. Um, obviously she didn't use me because I'm not licensed in Washington, just licensed in Texas. But that's what's happening now. Also, there's been like a ton of controversy about this community pride event. It's Pride Month and um, they're having a community pride event on Friday and man, some people just don't need to write some stuff on Facebook. They just, they need to calm down. Like the Taylor Swift song, calm down, seriously. I'm just like some of the people, like I wouldn't want to be their friend. They're, it's okay to have differences of opinion, but man, anyway. I can't even can't even go there with you on that because I'll start to get upset again and um, anyway so I'm gonna end this vlog today tomorrow I have to go take that check like I told you guys but also there's an event at Perry Homes that I'm probably gonna go to so that should be fun I'll see if there's any type of um, estate sales near where I'm gonna be tomorrow because maybe I'll stop by there and just kind of peek and take a look around but I hope you guys are having an awesome night. Don't forget, be kind to others. You never know what they're going through. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.